Hey guys, I've uh, been wanting to do a review of our new camper. This is the Jayco Hummingbird 16FD. I believe currently it is the smallest and lightest weight Hummingbird that Jayco actually makes. Uh, measures in at 18 foot 8 inches. That's from the um, right up here at the jack stand all the way back to the bumper. So under 19 feet and this actually comes in under 2,800 pounds unloaded. Uh, single axle, but I pulled it twice now, once from Northern Indiana to um, Northern Georgia, and then the other trip was from Northern Indiana to Myrtle Beach and back. Absolutely no issues pulling it with a 2014 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, it's almost like it's not even there. Now, I do have the option, because I had it on our old trailer, of weight distribution bars. I did use them on the way to Myrtle Beach and back, mainly because we were carrying water and it put a little bit more weight on the, the front. I don't think you really need them, but since I have them, I went ahead and used them. And I definitely use a friction sway bar. So, um, you can see this looks very much like many of the uh, other teardrop style trailers that are on the market. Um, the R-Pods and the Winnie Drops are the two that we were looking at. In fact, we were gonna go with the Forest River R-Pod until at the last minute we found these Hummingbirds and we just felt that for the money it was better quality plus you can't beat Jayco's two-year um, warranty. So that's why we went with it. You can see the uh, color scheme on this is the um, kind of a gray-white. They've done a nice job. Um, it's not overly flashy. Now, what I really liked on the Winnie Drop was they used the true gel coat and they come in multicolors and they just had some really sharp exterior skins. But we just, again, didn't feel like it was the best choice for us. I'll talk about some of the modifications I made already. We've added this jacket bike stand, holds two bikes, utilizes your up space in between your trailer and your tow vehicle. Um, I believe I paid $169 plus tax on Amazon. It takes about 30 minutes to install. It's an easy install. Um, the hardest part is actually figuring out how to hang your bikes and getting them positions just right. Uh, Jayco ships this with one uh, 20 pound propane cylinder. I still am just running with the 20 pound. That way if we get into a situation we need to fill it up, we can always exchange it. But what I did add, because Jayco ships these with the um, soft vinyl cover, I went ahead and for $25 added this hardcover propane um, tank cover. And what's nice is with this is I have everything inside and then I also added um, one of these gauges. Now, so far I've found that I'm not overly impressed with this gauge but we do at least have something to give us an idea of how much propane we have left. Uh, the battery, what I've added here is um, just a battery key. Literally, just turn the key, take it out, and that will, when you're not plugged in and you don't wanna run your battery down, that shuts that off. So that was a simple, um, probably $10 addition to the trailer. Um, this trailer actually has when you're setting up these really cool blue LED lights across the front. Um, they give you just enough light, but they're not obnoxious if you're setting up late at night and you don't want to bother other campers, but it will give you uh, enough light. This particular model, you can get these with the upgraded electronic uh, jacks. I actually prefer just to do it myself. Um, I found our last trailer had the electronic one and it just seemed like it took longer than me doing it myself. So I'm cool with that. Uh, Jayco also is wiring these for solar and I have a Harbor Freight solar panel that plugged right in and it's, uh, it's doing the trick as far as if you want to charge your battery or try to keep it charged if you're not plugged into shore power. Come around here, we've got a small um, storage on the outside right here and then you can see Jayco actually puts an electronic awning on. And unlike the R-Pods where they're not electronic and they actually look like they're aftermarket Thule, we just didn't care for the looks of them. This actually looks like it belongs and it works great. They put on the oversized grab handle for you. That comes standard from the factory. Um, this trailer is six and a half feet wide, which means your tires are gonna stick out on each side. And the thing I love towing this this is our seventh trailer that we've owned. We've owned our first trailer was a tab, which was our smallest trailer. Our largest trailer was a 35 foot fifth wheel. 
But what I love about this trailer is I can see behind me when I'm pulling it because of that six and a half foot width. There's a really large outdoor storage compartment here. And I don't know if you can see, it goes way back in. And all of the storage compartments actually have LED lighting. Okay, so you can actually find what you're looking for. Overall, we've only owned this trailer for a couple months and had it on these two trips. But overall, we are absolutely thrilled with this trailer. The way it tows, the quality, I'm not going to tell you we haven't found some minor things wrong with it. But again, after owning seven trailers, um, I can tell you you're always going to find minor things wrong with it. Uh, one of the things that Jayco did, and most manufacturers are doing this with these smaller trailers, is they're putting windows on both sides opposite of each other so you can get some real good uh, cross flow ventilation. Um, we do have the black tank flush built in, and we have an outdoor shower system. Um, and so, just a really and, and one more outdoor storage. This one's not as large, and this would be, oops, I guess that one's actually locked. This one, so I guess you should be more prepared if you're gonna make a video. Okay. So this one, it's pretty full, but it doesn't go back quite as far. And this would be under the dinette. And again, you're gonna have the same size on the other side. But in a small trailer, you'll take every piece of storage that you can possibly get. All right, let's go inside and I'll show you what the inside of this trailer looks like. Now remember, there is um, no slide out on this trailer. Most of the hummingbirds have a slide out. We opted for no slide out. This here actually comes with a TV mount. So if you want to mount a TV outside, you can. And we do have outdoor speakers so we can listen to our sound outside. Uh, they do put a strut on the door mainly to protect it because if you'll notice, where your awning is. So that's to save your awning. That's one thing I'm not real thrilled about, but I know there's nothing they could have done about it with that awning, but I would have preferred to have the door open to get more daylight. Um, I did add the handlebar. I just like these for closing the door. And you can see here, we've got the screen door. Also have the window, which lets in light. All right. So when we first come inside, you're gonna see the kitchen. Um, in the front is a dinette, a small dinette, and this actually makes into an RV, um, just shy of an RV queen. So it's actually a pretty decent size if you want to make it into a bed. Um, Jayco, these hummingbirds come standard with these mesh pouches, which when you initially look at the trailer, you may think, what am I ever going to use that for? But we are finding it's a great place to stash little things like the remote controls. You can see we actually, that's, that's a decoration we have. We're always looking, how can we make the camper ours? But we don't necessarily want to hang things that we have to take down every time we travel. So um, we actually ordered that on Amazon and it's just one of those uh, vinyl stickers. Okay, let me come back over. So when you first walked in, there's the door. This is your entertainment center. It's also your control center. Um, we we can check all of our okay, levels on black tank, gray tank, fresh water and battery, light switch, power awning, uh, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, stereo system. Um, here is the TV, and if it comes from the factory, they include the mount arm, which will extend out um, lots of different places to put it. Uh, uh, pretty good size storage down here. And again, understand, in a camper that's under 20 feet, every bit of storage you can get. Okay? And we were so impressed with this layout because unlike some of the other smaller trailers, I, we did not find another small trailer that has this kind of storage in it. And so you can see up here, we're using this for like dishes and things. Now, you may notice these. What we found was these do tend to want to pop open. So when we travel, I found these at Eddie Bauer and they just kind of wrap around and you can tie them. They're like metal. Boom, stay right in place for you. Uh, we've got the sink. Uh, my wife says this is a good sink, unlike our last trailer where she couldn't wash her hair in the kitchen sink. This one is deep enough and it's a high rise that she can actually wash her, her hair. 
So she really likes that. We have the two burner propane. There is no oven, which is fine in a trailer this size. I don't think you'd want to be baking. But what they do include back here is the convection microwave. So this microwave, and I have not tried the convection portion. I'm sure we will this summer when we're traveling. But um, they tell us we can bake in it, just like if it was an oven. Okay, come back out here, and again, more storage. Okay, there's the upper. And then down below, and you can see pretty good size. I'm able to keep an electric skillet, pots and pans, a toaster. So lots and lots of storage. Right next to it, another big storage. I probably can't see back there. Um, a drawer that we're using for kitchen utensils. And then we refer to this as the pantry, but it's really used for us for linens and then our our clothes go in here. Let's see if I can get any light. And so that's where we store our clothes when we travel. A uh, two-way refrigerator okay, has a little ice box inside. Okay. Uh, so this can run on electric or propane. And then in the back is your bedroom. And this is actually an RV queen-size mattress. See the mesh pocket over there. There's actually, and you probably are not gonna be able to see it because of the bed, but they did install a mesh pocket down here. Now I'm contemplating trying to move this mesh pocket up a ways. A little stand, place to set your, your phone. Um, we do have an outlet down here. We have a USB right below the refrigerator. And then this came mounted with the backer plate. We just had to buy the TV arm and we've added a second TV. We use a lot of command hooks. I love command hooks. So we can hang things like our jackets just to get them up and out of the way. Uh, the trailer does come with really nice nightshades. There is a comforter and pillows that match the steak whore that it came with. We just went with our, um, our, our favorite comfort we had with our first camper. And so we're using that. Now I will tell you, we were not impressed with the mattress. They touted it as being this uh, I think they called it a Simmons residential sleep system made exclusively for Jayco. We slept on it 12 nights and you could actually see where we had laid. So we did go ahead and for about $180, we ordered an eight inch um, foam mattress. So, and it works great. We had it in another trailer. And so we really, we really like that. We're going to be taking about a three week trip out West this summer. And so we just wanted to make sure we had a sleep system that we were going to be comfortable on for that kind of time. You'll notice Jayco actually uh, installs a mirror for you right there. Now, it's a little tight. I will tell you, there is a 17 FD. It's basic, same layout. Only difference is it's about a foot longer. And this wall would be a slide out. So your kitchen would slide out. So it's going to give you a bigger um, hallway space. And then the other thing it does is, because it's about a foot longer, the dinette actually becomes U-shaped. So you'd have cushions all along the back here. So if you wanted a bigger dinette. But what happens is with the slide out, you actually end up losing a bunch of storage. Um, not really sure why, but I think it has to do with the slide out mechanisms and having to have the slide out raised. So we opted for no slide out because we said, you know what, we don't really care that the hallway's a little bit wider. We're okay with this narrow and we'll make it work. Um, we do have the propane furnace comes with it. Uh, also has the full air conditioner. Now we haven't really had a chance to try this out because we haven't camped in warm enough weather yet, but this thing ought to cool very quickly. This is the wet bath. Most of the models of the Hummingbird come with a wet bath. Um, I believe there is one model that has a full bathroom. So if you're not familiar with the wet bath, it just means it, it's an all-in-one. Your toilet sits right in the shower and you can see it comes with a shower curtain. So you just pull the shower curtain and uh, we did put on an upgraded shower um, sprayer. You've got a little sink. Honestly, it's about worthless. So I'll just be honest. That's why my wife washes her hair out in the kitchen. We tend to wash our hands out in the kitchen. They do give you these, these pouches, which are really nice. So we store things like our soaps and shampoos in here. Just keep them in there. Um, we did upgrade the fan. It came with a small fan. We put in a um, fantastic fan that's reversible. 
and mainly because that will run off of our battery. So if we are without electricity, which we plan to be this summer uh, on several occasions, we can actually use the Fantastic Fan to get good airflow um, in, in the trailer. Uh, we actually did a little test where I opened a window, turned the Fantastic Fan on, and then tried to light a lighter by the window, and it actually would not stay lit. Um, because there was so much airflow coming through the trailer because of that fantastic fan. So uh, we've obviously added some some uh, runners uh, just so when you get out, when it's cold out, your feet you have something to step on. Uh, and really just tried to make the trailer our own. But this is the Hummingbird 16 FD. Uh, again, we purchased this at Halitz RV in Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, they gave us a very fair trade on our old camper. Um, the issue we had with it was it was less than a year old. We just didn't like it. Um, it, it, it had issues from the get-go, and we're not talking little issues like this trailer had. Like, for instance, today I just fixed an outdoor speaker. Um, when I finally found, got in behind it, it was just, it had come unplugged. The issue with the old trailer was there was just there was leaks it had to go back to the factory they they said they fixed it but i just think once you have major issues you just are never comfortable again but hey let's give us a very fair trade um we were like i said we just really like this jaco we had owned a jaco prior and just feel like the quality um is is much better than maybe you would find on other brands so if anybody has any questions feel free to put them in the comments and um I'll try to answer them. Hopefully, for those of you looking at the Hummingbird, this gives you a little bit more information in trying to decide if the Hummingbird by Jayco is the trailer for you.